in the demand for high grade wood for pipes today than say 50 years ago? Is it more challenging to be a briar carver now than it would have been for you 50 years ago? A briar carver or no, cutter? Cutter, cutter sorry. We speak uh, every time about uh, grading of wood, about aesthetic outfits. Uh, during the last uh, five, during the last five five years, I meet a lot of pipe makers that have a different uh, way uh, to use the blocks. And in this way, I have changed just a little the way to for cutting and select some of the best, not the all. Uh, for example, if uh, my father now doesn't work, but uh, uh, he stopped three years ago, my father was more classic in the cut because the customer of my father make more classic shape uh, pipes and were easy for them to make pipes from uh, blocks like this that is more classic or like the blocks that was on the table. But uh, if uh, I know more pipe maker than use the briar in different way, not in the classic way only, I have more possibility to give uh, them some nice blocks, but um, perhaps asymmetric than uh, other pipe maker in the past don't use it. That's why I like to travel and meet all the pipe maker around the world. Different cut, different way, different shape, different sides. More possibility I have in my mind, more possibility I have when I saw uh, nice blocks inside the, the, the room. If I have one possibility more, I make another shape and say, okay, here will be a nice pipes. Perhaps not for me because I don't like to use this, but perhaps for a Japanese guy that makes something very crazy and he don't need a perfect grain, he need a nice grain. Or sometimes some pipe maker say to me that uh, I give the inspiration for a uh, new shape because I change just a little uh, the mind. Open the mind and you know, okay, this is square, this is block, this is something that my father did to me and it's perfect. But uh, when I make pipes, I see that uh, if there are some pieces of wood more, sometimes it's important for make a new shape.